All right, so this is the my satellite application right now, so which was created uh, just now, and uh, this index.jsp is going to take our uh, web page to the my satellite application. So this whenever this form or uh, whenever the button has been clicked, so we will be getting my satellite the execution of my satellite which is a java application here so in this my satellite i'm going for uh, variables string variable string username comma password so after this so within try statement i'm going for username equals to or if I use a name equals to request dot get parameter that is supposed to be again username and password equals to request dot get parameter it is again password. So right now, what we need to do is we need to print this out of print line username equals to plus username in plus like I'm going for the password here. And this is what actually we require. So which is uh, accessing the parameter from this index.jsp. The parameter name is supposed to be username and this is supposed to be password. Um, which will be passed to this uh, my server application and here I will execute this application I pass the information here so just click on submit all right I got the information so which is passed through this request so my server remote and username and the password is over here so these are the values which we got from index.jsp uh, using the method get and uh, those can be accessed using the requested get parameter so get parameter is a method which is used to access the values from the html or jsp applications using the request object by passing the appropriate parameter which was used in the html or the jsp application to use the controls to design the controls or to create the controls and those controls are given with the name that parameter name will be passed to this requested get parameter as a parameter so when we pass these uh, names so means uh, these names to requested get parameter method and uh, our requested get parameter will uh, obtain the value associated with that username control which was designed in index.jsp and stores that value to the username the return type of this parameter is supposed to be in string and stores that to the, the string variable username on the password over here and requested get parameter will uh, will be available for only for one single request and uh, those parameters are not available for the different URLs for example I will show you so this is uh, what actually the output we got from this one I will go for this one again I will go with A, B, C, D so I got this username and password if suppose I am going for I am going to remove this uh, username and password so let's see what will happen so I will click on this one, press enter, see, I will be getting null and null. 
and even if I am going for this username username equals to mr and password equals to pass so then I will get the values so so this select means this browser requires a parameters in this case so if suppose I am going the same thing with different browser if suppose I am going for the same thing with different browser so then uh, browser is not able to get the values here so each time we need to pass the parameters then only we get the values like this so even if you remove this parameter then also we get the error which you have seen in previous so this problem can be avoided using the session objects the session objects are used to uh, use it for the servlets and web pages uh, so that uh, the data can be tracked through the different requests even if there is no um, parameters are passed so that can be accomplished using the uh, session objects so to create a session object what we need to do is go for the print writer object uh, sorry not print writer go for the http session 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 equals to request dot get session um, we need to import this file which is a uh, java x dot server http dot http session we need to import this class and later uh, we need it to set the session over here it's supposed to be uh, we need to check the things over here if um, what I am going to do is uh, username now this one if not username equals to uh, double quote and uh, again press and uh, pass not password equals to double quote so then only we are setting the session of the session dot set attribute it's supposed to be string username i'm going to set username itself user name and one more for the brackets over here and this should be password and this is supposed to be object is supposed to be request dot get parameter that is again I use a name and request dot get parameter this is supposed to be password let's save this one and just move here so we're gonna go for again here so you go for this one sorry this not this one so we can go for output statement here more output statement so that is uh, out dot println using request dot get parameter one more thing you see in the session and here the username is supposed to be should be username uh, it's, we can change this it's supposed to be request dot 
can get attribute. So, so this is supposed to be session dot get attribute not request session dot get attribute is supposed to be username and uh, here we need to type catch this one to the string so this is the statement that we need right now so we can uh, run this application to check the result ok so the application is running right now ok now go with id and the password submit so i run using requested get parameter username is equal to number 1 password is equal to number using session username is equal to number 1 password is equal to number so I am going to go with a different URL so or I can change the name here itself so I will remove this parameter and press enter so this is again null here let's check what happened let's see here so here a small mistake has been done so if username remove these things I can put password here and here I am going to put a username and bring this over here and right, let's see what happens here so we can go for we can change this uh, if statement a little bit holy you can put one more band here bracket under the bracket user name equals to no not equal to not equal to null and uh, password not equal to null so we can put like this and uh, next thing here here yeah, suppose uh, here what happens if request get parameter will uh, returns the parameter value associated with the user name and stores that into user name and password if user name equals to empty and uh, null and password is equal to empty and null what happens we are setting the uh, not equal to MP and not equal to none we are setting the what about the session attributes that was a session has been uh, a given refers to the requested get session uh, the session object is supposed to be a study session and we are setting the session attribute here username and uh, password and that will be supposed to be username of the password and the next thing so we are printing requested get parameter values and also requested get attribute where session dot get attribute not requested so using this application here so so using this application here we can come to know what is the difference between requested get parameter and also session dot get attribute so here we can uh, execute this one So once we execute this one, so let's see what happened to this application right now. So I will put username and password is supposed to be pass. So just press this one. So we got this one uh, requested get parameter. Parameter has been passed to this one here. So username and the password. So if I delete this one, so what? If, let's see what happens. So if I delete this one and press enter, enter. Alright, so the requested get parameters are supposed to be null and uh, username and password are supposed to be username is summer and password is supposed to be pass. So this is what actually the difference between uh, requested get parameter and uh, session dot uh, get attribute. So this kind of uh, session objects are used to 
or track the session variable for the different URLs. So we can take this, uh, or we can copy this uh, this one to some more one, some more browser. So this one more browser I'm going to use. So press enter. So what happens? I will get again the session values, so username and the password, but uh, not the parameter values here. So the parameters values will be uh, available for only one request with parameters but uh, session objects are uh, available for different uh, URLs so this kind of uh, applications uh, this kind of uh, concept this kind of implementation is basically required to maintain the uh, objects for different URLs in a simple uh, or in the same application so especially in uh, keep uh, keep track of the username when a login authentication has been done and also for the shopping cart applications so this is how the session objects are used in servlet uh, applications so thanks for watching this tutorial in the next tutorials we can see more concepts on jw